okay so recently the government of india has notified that limestone is going to be a major mineral previously there were two different slabs slabs basically means categories in certain cases it was major mineral and in certain cases it was minor mineral depending on the end use and use simply means how it is going to be utilized but now the ministry of mines has classified limestone as a major mineral completely now understand for major minerals the central government is going to frame the rules and regulations for minor minerals the state government have power to frame the rules and regulations for minerals we have mmdr that is mines and minerals development and regulation act now upsc have already asked uh, questions on this act so understand two three things for regulation of minerals this is the important legislation now as far as mineral resources are concerned we are heavily dependent on the supply of critical minerals that means we are import dependent we do not have sufficient supply for example roughly 70% of our critical minerals demand is fulfilled through imports to reduce that dependency recently government had approved national critical mineral mission that is ncmm objective is to increase our domestic production and in case if domestic production is not uh, sufficient enough then we are going to tie up with different countries to ensure the regular supply for that purpose kabil has been set up so these are some of the important developments in case of minerals